Uh, we're in Civil 3D looking at just a single line storm drain, just something simple. Uh, there are no limits to, to what you can do there, but uh, it's a, just a quick and dirty uh, storm drain design. So um, if we look at it, just a couple, few catch basins, manholes, to an outlet, to a pond. So fairly simple. Um, with Civil 3D, we're going to look at our contextual tab. So I'm just going to select any part in that, in that item, in that uh, pipe network. From here, it gives me a whole bunch of different options. I can edit it. I can make sure it's good to go. Um, but on the Analyze tab, it gives me a storm sewer pull down. And I can export to a file, or I can import from a storm sewer file, or I can edit it directly in the storm sewer. So I'm going to show you two options. The first one, we're going to edit it in storm sewers. The second one, I'm just going to export to a, a .stm file, and then we're going to go from there. So um, with my pipe selected, I'm going to go to my storm sewers, edit in storm sewers. It's going to tell me what network. I'm, it's just the one storm drain one. I'm just going to hit OK. Save it somewhere. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop and name it something I can remember. Hit save. So now it's launching automatically the Hydroflow Storm Sewers extension. And not only is it launching, it's actually opening my network in Storm Sewers. You know, so if I was to look at my profile real quick, uh, you can see that my Storm Sewers are in there. It's got the information and all that. So kind of a quick way to get in there and start your, start your design um, and your analysis. I'm going to close that, and we're going to back up a couple steps, though. In my prospector, I'm going to expand pipe networks. And I see I just have the storm drain one. So uh, one more way to do this, I can right-click, and I can export it to storm sewers. Um, if I was to do be using the storm and sanitary standalone product that we did a webinar on a few weeks ago, I can uh, do the same thing, storm sewers or XML, either way. Um, this way it's simpler. I'm just going right to storm sewers. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Where's my webinars? And storm sewers there. So uh, what that does is just saves an STM file that you can come back to at a later time. You know, maybe you're sending it off to somebody else. They do the analysis. You set it up in pipes. They do the analysis. Uh, that's the easiest way. Just uh, export it to a .stm. So I'm going to launch my storm sewers right from my Analyze tab on my ribbon. Expand that, and I'm just going to open up that .stm I just saved. Uh, so I got stormsewers.stm. Just going to double click it, open it up, and again we have uh, IDF curves. We can insert it, we can edit it. Um, we have our tabs here where we can look at our pipes. It has all the information associated with it that you got from Civil 3D. Same thing with our inlets, and then once we run our results, uh, we'll have different types of results and computation methods, uh, different standard of, um, reporting tools. So I'm going to go back to my plan. I'm going to look at my inlet. So I'm just going to double click my inlet, my top inlet. So I got two tabs. I got my pipe tab. It gives me a little information about my size, slope, length, inverts, um, Manning's end. Make sure that's correct. And, and different stationing, things like that. And then I have my inlets and junctions. So is it an on-grade inlet? Is it an on-sag inlet? Um, you can specify either way, on-grade or sag. Um, it also has uh, your gutter details, things like that that you want to make sure are in there. Um, and your grate information. That's just a two-foot drop grate, uh, two by six. So I guess it's a six-foot grate. I'm going to go back to my pipes. So a couple things here, you know, if you have known flows, if you've done your, your flow values in another program or you have a spreadsheet that calculates a flow, you can simply come in here and key in a known flow. Um, or you can come in and you can put your drainage area, your C value, uh, your time of concentration, and have it calculate that area for you uh, either way. So I'm just going to key in a known Q, hit OK. And I can continue on down the line, going from pipe to pipe in here. Or I can hit exit, and I can double click in here, make sure all my information is fine. So I'm just going to plug in a couple numbers. I'm going to see that one. I got 15 CFS going in there. Maybe I have an additional uh, three going in there. And additional 12. Let's make this look good. Hit exit. 
So I've set it up. I've got my manholes. I've got everything on grade, on sag. I'm not going to get too detailed on how to set it all up 100%, but uh, double-clicking things, pretty simple and easy. Um, you can take things out. If I select it, I can delete it. I can hit buttons to edit it. I can insert something in here, a new line or a junction in the middle of that line if I wanted to. Um, we're going to take it as it is. So, so I've set that up. got my flows in there that I want. I'm going to come up to the Run tab. So I'm going to hit Run. Uh, under hydrology, your different return periods, or for known cues only. Maybe we'll try that one first. Uh, yeah, we'll go for known cues because that's what we put in. The rest of these would be if we didn't have known cues and we wanted to calculate those flows. Um, you have four different calculation options, analysis with design, and if you look over here, it's going to explain what you're doing. You know, analysis with design will compute the overall system designs pipe sizes, inverts, and inlets. Um, so you use this option for general design and analysis. And then those changes I change here. Capacity only. Compute system flow as full flow capacities. And a, it, it ignores that user entered data because it's just checking for capacity of that system. So I'm going to go analysis. Uh, yeah, we'll go analysis with design based on a known queue and hit OK. And it will let you know if you have an error. So right now it says an error occurred during flow calculation on line 6. Please check the flow line data or IDF curve. So you can go in there, hit OK, look at line 6. And, yep, that's pipe 6. It looks fine to me. I'm not sure what that did. Go up, run it again, maybe choose a different method, hit OK. And so from here, you have your profile. You can go through and you can cycle through pipe to pipe. Uh, you can upsize pipe. Right now I'm upsizing the pipe and, and looking how that HDL handles an upsized or a downsized pipe. Um, from here, I can go to the next manhole. Take a look at that. So I can go through and cycle through different things back and forth. Um, I can look at inlets. Give it a second here. I can look at inlets. I can look at spread. Uh, I can look at quite a few different things. I can look at my plan, and it'll tell me where I'm at. I'm just going to hit finish. That way it's going to calculate the whole thing. That noise, let me know it's done. So I can come in here. I can come to plot. I can go to profile, and I can run a profile for uh, my whole thing. Which way do I want to see here? I want to see from pipe 7 to 1, so or 1 to 7. So you can see here based on the flow, and I put some higher flows in there just so you can see uh, what's happening here. You can see the HDLs, EGLs, uh, and things. You can make your text bigger. You can make your text smaller. You know, some modification tools that you can use here. Uh, you can print this to a profile. You can export it out. Um, it exports a profile as a DXF, so you can throw that in your AutoCAD. You know, so once I've made my changes and I've run that and everything's satisfying and, and I like it, you know, I can save this report or save this storm file and I can go back and I can export um, export to land XML export as a new or you can update an existing one I just want to go new uh, project name so I'm just going to say storm uh, and then you know those basic things and just hit export it's going to ask me where to export it I'm going to just throw it in that webinar folder and it'll let you know if it's been exported success successfully. So from there if I want to see my HDLs back in my in my Civil 3D, so right now if I go to this pipe information, pipe properties, right now I have no hydraulic grade information at all, nothing. Um, what I'm gonna do is import, I'm gonna go up to file Import, import XML, browse to my folder, import this in, and you can see here on my, my pipes, let me zoom to one of those pipes, 
um, my pipes now, if I look at those pipe properties, where'd it go? Now have my HDLs associated with it. So I can now throw those in my profiles and have my HDLs. I can label those HDLs using some, some fancy little uh, Civil 3D settings and styles and stuff um, and do quite a bit. And you can go back and forth and uh, you can overwrite. On this one, I didn't choose to overwrite, but I could have overwrote this one and have it automatically in my profiles. Just a workflow thing. It depends on what you want to do. Um, but again, there's a lot of tools you can use in these H&H uh, &H tools directly within Civil 3D.